Hey everyone, here with part 2 of my review for the HTC EVO V from Virgin Mobile. I'm going to cover a few things that I didn't cover in the last video. So if you haven't watched part 1, you should go watch it now. And uh, yeah, if you have, then I'll get into gaming. So I run Temple Run 2 first and foremost. Um... It does game pretty good. I haven't uh, had much lag on it. And again, the dual core processor does a pretty great job of that. Okay. <laughs> and other videos have people tell me that uh, my tempo run skills are not up to par. So I apologize for that. I'm trying the best I can to play through... Uh, looking through a camera screen so forgive me as you can see I just died but there was no lag and I play a couple of probably one more game one or two more games to show you there's no lag If you watch my older videos, I think you'd uh, congratulate me. I think I improved just a little bit at least. I've never been good at a uh, tempo run. But the phone definitely handles games and I think tempo run is tempo run 2 is a uh, pretty graphic intense, I guess you can say. Yeah, that's enough. I think you get the point of that. And um, another game I'll try, which somebody asked me uh, about was Subway Surfers. Which is a cool little game, kind of like Temple Run. It takes a minute to load. But yeah, the colors on this phone are really vibrant. Uh, if you turn it to the side a little bit, you kind of have... Uh, viewing angle problem just a slight one the color gets kind of washed out but aside from that uh, you should be good to go let me focus in really quick okay oh. as you can see <laughs> My skills are not up to par, but the phone itself could definitely handle it. I hope you get the point. The phone definitely uh, is good at gaming. The dual core processor helps out a lot with that. And a few other things I missed. Uh, as I said in the other video, it can screenshot. It does. Uh, you can make folders on the home screen, which is convenient. Uh, that's definitely a feature I like. It allows you to be a little bit more organized on your home screen. Uh, I think text messaging I didn't go into so allow me to pull that up really quickly so compose here we go as you can see here <laughs> anyway text messaging come up threaded so let's say I want to send it to okay so I want to send 
LOL. It comes up LOL. It says SMS message uh, error because, of course, I have Wi-Fi on. I'm not on the tower right now. But as you can see, they come up threaded. Kind of like iPhone type thing. But uh, it's really easy to text on this phone. It handles messages well. Uh, call quality also is clear. It can handle pretty much any app you throw at it. Uh, I know I get a lot of questions. Can it handle Instagram? And yes, it can handle Instagram. Uh, Skype, I don't know. I know it can handle Uvu or Ovo, however you say Uvu. Uh, I've tried that, so it does handle that. Of course, it handles Facebook. Um, so pros and cons, I guess. Pros would definitely be 1.2 dual core processor. Um, camera quality is decent. Video quality is decent. Um, screen size. It's pretty much everything is decent about this phone. The only thing I don't like is that you have to take the battery out for the micro SD card uh, to put a new one in. And the viewing angles could get a little washed out when you tilt it to the side. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's not like you're going to be holding your phone like that. But, uh, you know, just a little tilt can make a big difference. And I think that's about it for the cons. Overall, would I recommend this phone? Absolutely. Um, it's only 149 on virginmobileusa.com. So you really can't beat that. For 149 it's not a bad phone. Um... So yeah, I hope I answered everybody's questions. If you have a question or comment, please feel free to leave it below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Uh, I really do enjoy answering people's questions about phones and uh, it's kind of a cool pastime, whatever. And please subscribe. Have a good one.